Hello everybody, have you ever uh, stopped by the small thing that uh, your job is not able to continue? Um, actually, I have this kind of experience is that for this uh, nozzle tip adapter um, that actually stopped, my, stopped me from doing the, the job. The problem is I also bought some metal ones before. Um, I see some problem. One is the uh, sometimes the, the snapping force is really strong, so it's hard to get the nozzle tip down and then um, the other thing is sometimes the the one i bought it doesn't um, have the airtight it doesn't able to do airtight therefore um, it doesn't able to provide enough um, uh, suction power here um, then i was thinking maybe um, i can make one actually um, by myself therefore i start to um, look into that so uh, and then I end up with the, uh, this model. So this is basically um, uh, snapping the, the actually nozzle tip adapter, uh, which can uh, have this part actually put in the nozzle, and then in the back there's a shaft, a nozzle shaft um, a mounting hole, and inside here there is like um, you see there is a blocking that that is basically for putting the ceiling. So just to make sure. Um, it's airtight, so you, uh, I designed two ceilings. One is here to seal the nozzle shaft, and the other one is basically to seal the nozzle tip here. And then you can see also the screw mounting hole. So this is basically um, to use the uh, screw to uh, fix to the uh, motor shaft. And then this hole is basically for the uh, the bore, basically to snap on the nozzle tip slots. And basically, you will see I also made those one slot. This seems to be not useful, but actually, when you do the printing, um, some printer will have um, uh, some place that uh, they, you need to stop and then change layers and so on. Then it will have um, basically not so flat surface. So I made this one. Then the the most of the slicing software will be able to put those um, um, junctions basically in this area which make the surface flat and this is a very important when you mount the nozzle tip then it need to be um, really flat and um, also here you will see this uh, flat surface and this is basically um, used to make it easy to print and what I design is basically you, uh, I, you print in this direction and the reason there are there are a couple of reasons. One is basically with this direction, it's easier to actually print inside here uh, structure, so that it will be um, really good structure to hold the ceiling. And then um, the other the other thing is that by printing in this direction, it's actually more strong um, in this area. So uh, suppose you print in this vertical direction um, because. Uh, 3D printer is basically each circle, each circle, then in here it will also be circle and then it will be quite um, easy to break. So therefore um, I designed it a way that uh, it has it will be um, print, it will be print in this horizontal direction so this will be very good. Uh, of course you need to like um, um, really calibrate your printers and just to make it um, make it vertical here. And then this will be um, cautiality. It will be a good cautiality. So when you rotate, it will not like have a big run out. So this is also one of the reason to print in this direction. And then also I make it parameterizable. Um, so there are a couple of parameter there. So one is the nozzle diameter. Um, this one is uh, quite straightforward. So this is basically this part the diameter to the hole to mount the nozzle tip so it's it's basically um, this part so every every uh, jockey nozzle come with this one this is about 7.0 um, but in the in the parameter I put it to 7.4 uh, each uh, 3d printer usually has the um, the say tolerance so you can um, leave by yourself basically you can customize this one and the other one is a motor, sh mo uh, motor shaft, so that's basically on the um, how tight you want to mount the, the motor shaft in, in here. 
So sometimes um, if you don't want to have the screw, uh, you can just make it a little bit tight and then you can directly um, put the mount adapter into here. For example, like in here you see there is no there is no uh, screw I was using, so I just make it tight and then put it in, and it's so easy, um, so easy to basically install it into the into the three uh, into the pick and place machine. And also, um, there are um, outer diameter. Of course, it's basically the outside, and you have also um, nozzle nozzle mount depths. Also more depths. So this is basically um, basically the depths from the surface into this uh, this area. So basically for each each nozzle tip uh, from this surface to here, from here from this surface until the end of the nozzle tip, it's about seven millimeter. And of course, again uh, because of the tolerance, then. Um, you could basically customize it here to to adapt to your uh, to your uh, printer. But of course, the um, the important thing is that um, um, I also designed a ceiling area here. This area to put in the ceiling ring. You see, there is a, uh, there is a structure here. So it's basically able to hold the ceiling, uh, to hold the ceiling ring inside this area, and there is also a parameter to define uh, from the bottom, from the bottom surface and uh, from this surface on, and how high is the ceiling ring? Because the ceiling ring will sit at the end, and then when this uh, nozzle tip press, then it will be uh, sealed. So. This this is the high you can um, customize, and I use uh, one point five ceiling ring, and I leave also some space, so I put one point nine here. But in the model, you can basically adjust by yourself. And then um, the other thing is the the whole size of the ball. So basically, um, there is a slot. There's a slot in jockey jockey nozzles here, so um, you can basically use the. Let me just focus. Okay. So basically, you can use the the ball to snap um, to this one. So it's make it easy to um, stay in position. Um, so basically, what I what I do here, you can configure the the side, the diameter of the the hole, and um, you can actually buy those balls in in the AliExpress or other place quite easily. Um, so yeah, this is basically a customizable design. Um, and then, um, while you have done everything and you put in, you slice it, and then you 3D print it, and then uh, this is basically the part. So after you print out, it's like this. And I'll show you how to basically assemble this one. So this is actually what you need. So you need um, this printed out ones, like I mentioned before. And then you need two ceiling rings. Um, this is a three by one, so um, inside is three millimeter, and then the ring diameter is one itself, so it's like five around five. And this is for seal seal, uh, seal the um, uh, motor shaft. And then this one is one point five by six, so this one is used to basically seal the the nozzle tip. So it's basically inside is like this. Inside is like this, it's, it's sit on top, then it actually seals. And then of course you see there are uh, a bigger ring which is used to um, hold the outside of the ball. And there are four balls here, so what um, I'm just gonna put in. So you see that I can actually put the, put the ball here quite easily. And then when I put in two, I just, I just make it um, on top, then um, we just need to put in another the 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 rest. So like this, like this. Okay. So now you see it's already in position, and then I just put in this ceiling ring here, and I take some small 
screwdriver just to put put the sealing ring inside. So basically, it's um, it's easily in in place. So you can see it's very easy to take in and take out, and it's also very stable because of this uh, snapping. And the force is also not too big. Um, of course, you could adjust this uh, ceiling, the other ceiling ring to be uh, bigger to provide a uh, more strong force, but you can also make it smaller to um, make it looser to basically um, easier to snap. So, and then the next thing is putting this one, putting this ring, and this is uh, quite straightforward. Um, but then afterwards, um, here is a, is a motor. So I just put in like this, and then it's done. And actually, the one of the very important thing is the causality. So when when you do this, you see it's very very um, straight. There is a there's a very small run out when I rotate it in this direction. You can actually see that it's uh, actually pretty good. So, um, but of course, to reach this uh, high causality, ca uh, sorry, uh, it's hard to pronounce, high causality. So then you have to um, basically uh, calibrate your printer, three D printer, to make sure the the um, the Z the Z axis is actually ninety degree to the X and Y. So that need to be um, that need to be sure. And yeah, you can see now it's a very easy to, to snap and basically this is what I put in uh, in the 3D printer I have. Yeah. So very easy to assemble and also this could actually last pretty long because the um, the most part it's touching is basically the the four metal balls. So this could actually last quite um, quite long, a lot of times. So yeah, I will put in. Uh, I will put this model into my website, and you can find the link, actually in the in the video uh, description area. So yeah, if you like, just go to the website and have a look. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. See you next time.